Ben Vasquez is an optimist by nature, so the high school teacher tried to smile as he walked around El Centro Cultural de Mexico in Santa Ana last week. He's a longtime volunteer at the 25-year-old nonprofit, which has forged a generation of Latino activists in Orange County via a variety of classes, music, dance, language, art, even self-defense. It also holds a yearly Dia de los Muertos festival that attracts over 40,000 people and is one of the largest of its kind in the United States. The pandemic moved all of this to Zoom, so El Centro's two-story building, within walking distance from multiple schools, no longer buzzes with kids and parents. It's still busy, though. Outside its walls, a homeless camp grows. It started in March, when a few people set up sleeping bags in El Centro's parking lot to stay the night, then leave by morning. Word spread among Orange County's unhoused that here was a place where the property owners left folks alone. The welcome mat came from El Centro's own history of evictions in long gentrifying Santa Ana and the personal experience of some members with homelessness. But you know how the maxim goes, give someone an inch, and they'll take the ruler and smack you with it. At least 50 people hung out outside El Centro when I met Vasquez there. Tents whose quality ranged from ready for Yosemite to tarps strung up on PVC pipes sprawled across two parking lots that used to host community markets on weekends. People sat in front of El Centro's garage doors and its entrance. Under a mural that proclaimed, Comunidad here to stay, someone blasted stoner rap and gruffly asked us to leave. Vasquez swings by twice a week to leave trash bags and keep track of any damage. Plywood covers El Centro's windows, a light pole was recently fixed after someone pulled out its copper wiring. Yeah, I mind them being here, said Vasquez, 50. But whatever they're going through is worse than my feelings of them being here. This is taking us from our mission, but it's the right thing to do. He and other El Centro members aren't mad at the people who currently live on their space. They instead save their ire for an Orange County that still tries to pretend homelessness as an L.A. thing. For instance, county officials just shut down a shelter down the street, with no clear plan to move those who used it elsewhere. They closed it during a pandemic. Vasquez exclaimed as he walked around the parking lot to introduce himself to El Centro's newest temporary tenants. When one closes down, people are going to get into neighborhoods and lawns. We're the proof. El Centro's goodwill is now costing it. Prospective tenants quickly decline once they see the scene. Code enforcement has fined the nonprofit $1.800. On Monday, the city council talked with its lawyers about the matter during a closed door session. I understand that they're trying to be benevolent and humane, said Santa Ana Mayor Vicente Sarmiento, 